It's a beautiful day, my favorite kind. Hmm. Any second now. It too. Uh, though I suppose you can't have the sweet without the sour. <clears throat> Attention to town. Now hear this. Her will is now manifest. Long may she reign. Random rules. Oh, a two! What a delightful... <sighs> Way to make a perfectly awful day even worse. <sighs> Another dreary day, everyone. Just muddle through this horrid life until death finally claims us. <gasps> What a nice little cheery town that this place is. But, hey everybody, welcome back. Name is Slayer, how are you? May not use my own name. You can call me Brandon. And welcome back to Lost and Random. Last off, we now just entered time to Uno Jinx. Hi, what are you looking at? Sorry? You heard me. We've got enough problems here without strange weirdos wandering around town. What are you calling where are you? From talking fish? Just keep telling yourself that, kid. And while you're at it, tell yourself that you're not missing anything by having just one personality. I seen you in the dice card road. You didn't change a bit. That tells us you're not from two town. I reckon you're a one up. You don't oh, belong. reckon you should shut. I reckon you shut the hell up and leave me alone. It seems oh, excuse me. There are two sides to every story, especially here in Two Town, where even the residents seem to be of two minds. So, welcome back, everyone. I. I've actually been looking forward to actually play this again. Now, uh, I've actually been trying to. Make I'm trying to make more content with this down the road. Like this game gives a nice feel of it, and each town so far that we've seen has a nice little tell of tell of story. Kind of curious about what they can do here. Right now, this place is a walking mine of money. Oh. Oh, so are you just? Cards, uh, cards, I got cards here, the greatest cards in the land, from my body to your hands. Is your, uh, yeah, wait, wait, is your body a store? Yes, but was I born with a store for a body, or did I somehow force my body to become a store? Well, you'll never know, because you'll become instantly distracted by all of the fantastic cards I have to sell. <laughs> I feel like this one cures me more. An eye for cards. Always terrific to meet another card of sore. <laughs> Manny Dex, at your service. Manny Dex, you, you concern me with what? Naturally. You know, I've often been heard to remark that life is like cards. It's not so much the cards you've got, but how you play them, yeah? <laughs> Plus, life is also small, cheap, and random, and yet utterly enchanting. All like cards, isn't it? Now listen, since you're a fellow he, connoisseur, and since he's hitting hard. So, I'm going to do you a solid, mate. Old Manny Dex is going to give you a lovely binder to hold your cards in. On the house. We'll just need to teach you how to use it. Yay, more tutorial lessons. Car binder. You personally, your personal car binder, use it regularly to modify your deck and try out new combinations. 
this is your card binder here you can inspect and edit your deck over and over cards in either you your deck or your inventory will generate a card description consider the following title in fact description and card type attack damage defense hazard and cheat this is your inventory restore your cards this is your deck cards we'll see all right all right so not much right now but bring me some more that shiny new binder with all those blank pages in it you're probably in the market for some new cards eh well good news it just so happens i've got the greatest cards in the land from my body to your hands <laughs> Too. <laughs> yes, I still have more mini questions. Right, we're all born one way, and we all decide what we want to do with that. I was born with an interest in trading cards and decided to absolutely lean into my interest in trading cards. All the way, mate. <laughs> I, f oh, I feel like this is. I feel like this is just the uh, equivalent of we're going to reach a certain point of year where trading cards is just going to take over. Shoot. Just shoot? Uh, Were you born with a nosy little girl for a body? Hurtful. Uh, what cards you got? Let's see what you got here. Welcome to the car shop. There's nothing much to see at the moment, so let's refer to right now. Mm, let's go with more hazard. This. Ooh. All right. So coinage. Let's see. Almost Eric. Let's see. Seven the witch of the Va valley balloon shield. Fully. Ooh. That sounds useful. Time trap, summon a clock that slows it. We'll see, slows down adversaries caught in the pocket dimension. All right. Hands, uh, King's hand. Summon a Hanski mighty fist. Hmm. These are actually not that bad. Critical 20, yes. Um, and defense. All right, not bad. Oi, oi, many decks here. Card is... Oi, oi, many decks here. Card is... He is a interesting individual. I'm curious to see what happened if he actually was normal. Like, what happens after the dice? The dice roll, how do he become afterwards? Would he become so helpful or would he become more of a, uh, a dick? Or would maybe the closet side take him take over? Even was beginning to learn a lot about this new part of random. Could not, He's unfortunately, how to escape it. Many, many questions there, at boy. Was locked. Perhaps someone nearby was in possession of a key. Is it you? Give it a fucking key. Have you seen the upside down town? I'm building it. Upside downtown? The flip city in the sky. You can't miss it. It's not just me, of course. Lots of construction jobs up there. That whole site was designed by Her Royal Highness, the Queen. It's the ultimate expression of two towns. Name Smokey, by the way. So there's no two. Is that what you think we are? A city full of evil twins? Well, we're not. We are a city of halves, and every half is divided differently. Some down the middle, some across the side, some with a little sections here and there that add together to half. Everyone is different. Some call the upside downtown a mere distraction. A minor obsession of the queen designed simply to keep us all busy. You know what those people are called? Ha! 
one. No, they're traitors. They're obviously traitors. It's the ultimate expression of two towns. What it was always meant to be. Two cities in one. I don't know if I said this before in the last video or not, but uh, people are been drinking a hell of Kool-Aid that the Queen is have given. It was the Queen's royal robot guards. She had to think fast. She had to roll Slingshot. the dice. Slingshot. She has a dice. Not a crossbow or any, like a bow or anything? No, just dice. Oh, we trust the new dice out. Go! Dice roll. One, zero. Fuck! Get a little bubble. Alright, let's try the, let's try the D20. Go! Attack! Get fucked, son! Ha! Get right by the 20. All right, we'll, we'll see what else. Ooh, devil hand. Just a tan. You know what? This is probably my best go. Oh my god, that does damage. You know what? I like the cards I got. Maybe later I'll just get. Okay, last. You know what? I'm saving that for later. For right now, we'll just use the bow. Alright, I feel like I made a good selection here. Good choices. And... Both ways a lot? Yeah. Okay, I'm still in combat, that's why. Fair enough. Can I snipe you from up here? Over here? Okay, so that's range. Back. that all right we'll see what I have now all right let's try to time just just stay in there real quick for okay oh it actually slows them down okay I guess that's a good way to do crowd control or free um items for me to grab with a sword. I guess another shield? I wonder if I can stack these. Alright. Oh, just right in front of me. Okay. I do like the feel of this combat system. It's it, it's just it's very nice and subtle. Like nothing too complex, nothing weird about it. Just take a round of shot in the dice and see what cards I get. Can I wanna can I hit both of them with this? Nope. Yeah. Bullseye. That coins. Let's see. Uh, let's see how much damage can the hand do to both of them. Just give them a high five, guys. High five. I'm guessing you're not the hot, the fivers types. <laughs> You know what? They, they already low health. Let's just finish them off. Mm 
Okay, pop my bubble. There we go. I wonder if there's gonna be an update later on in the game that allows me to like I increase the longevity of these moves. Probably if I get more certain cards, which is gonna be interesting. Let's see, and you know what? Just a little bit of time. My question is, what if I'm in the time circle when it happens? Okay, nothing really. So this is just a free, like, bunch of free hits. Alrighty. Ooh, a key. A bronze ornament cre created creature. Okay. Anything else I'm missing over here that I should be aware of? Alright, nope. Alright, onward. I know I had to unlock that, but I'm curious to see what's up here, too. Hey, you. Come here and check. Oh, God. Just want to ask you a few questions, love. Like about who you're with. That six-sided fella by your side. Tell me about him. He's my friend? He's, yeah, he's a dog in a costume. Dog. I think you got one of them dice by your side. See, most people wouldn't recognize him no more. They've been extinct for so long. Banned by the queen. And she's got a terrifying black one. The only one left in all the land. Or so she thinks. What do you... Where are you going with? I'm sure you don't. Having a dice is treason, after all. Be careful out there, love. There might not be many of us left who know what you're up to. But you can't fool everyone all of the time. See you around, kid. So, it does speak. And with the ancient dice tongue. How intriguing. Hmm... <laughs> so polite, so stoic. The queen will like that. Hmm. People in this town are very interesting. But I didn't like her one bit. Oh, puzzle. Okay, that took me a second to remember. Like, how do I? Oh. Oh. Okay, so have Dicey move over here. Okay. That was a simple puzzle. Hey, nice. Please let this be like this page three. Life was insane and beautiful. A glorious mess. Those who wielded dice would challenge each other in grand board game tournaments to win favor from the king or queen, or even just each other. The rules were wild and capricious, in the games even more so. <laughs> and everyone in random loved them, and the dice wielders themselves, with all their heart. Alright, so, so you like what we got so far was originally the world was like this. The dice were actually used for fun and adventure, but like everything, something happened to cause the world to become how dark it is now, especially with the queen. I wonder what caused her to act like this. Alright. 
said the fact that now we we got the key. Your question? Yes. Business is slow. Fair enough. So last <laughs> what are you? This is a interesting district. I'm not even going to talk to you. I refuse to. This is an interesting town. What's with the long face? Inspiration. I'd trade my gobble Gregor for a flash of genius. I'm through Pipkin, by the way. I am an artist, but not with paints or music. My art is the art of trading, and I want to push the art forward. Trading gobble Gregors is so routine. I want to trade something that hasn't been traded before. Say, you wouldn't be willing to trade for that costume your friend is wearing, are you? You touch the dice, and you get the hands. I figured. Probably wouldn't fit too many folks anyway. Plus, people have traded costumes before. If you ever have anything to trade, you'll come see me, right? Especially something unusual. Sure Excellent. thing. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, fair. I got a fifty percent off sale. That's twice as cheap as normal. I like your business, G, but uh robots. Stories she'd heard the Junkers tell in one grove. Hello there. Indubitably, we're twins. We finish each other's sentences. We double each other's happiness. We share each other's husbands. We multiply each other's. Wait, 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 what? What? You said we share each other's husbands. Yep, I don't. You've been kissing my husband? Uh, oh my god! Two timer! It's double the fun! Oh, Jesus. Jesus. We need to talk about this. Sorry. That. I'm, I'm not getting into that. I'm curious if they would have said now. Even decided she'd already inserted herself into the lives of the twins quite enough. Yeah. I think I think that's the best uh, time to go. Hi, I'm Harry Twofold. Nope. Wait, item. Let's see what's up here. Money. Anything else I should be wary of? Nope. Okay. Let's see. So that's progression. And this side questions. And your grandpa. I'm coming, little Joe. 
Hello there. Back. Nope. Nope. Alright, what they got me today? Two. Let's make that three. And make this one fun. Nope. Oh, wow. I am about to mess them up. There we go. Get up, come on. There we go. Oh, I thought that was all. Alrighty. We'll see what they got for me now. We'll try the hand. Oh, uh, they are not lined up. Uh, just gonna do that. Here we go. Come on, that's what I got. Come on, y'all got nothing. Nope. Just gonna go over here real quick, you know, not to hit. Come on. You saved my bacon there, kid. No problem. Let me repay with a deal. I'm looking to trade a weird-looking four-sided skull for a gobble -grig. That'll be just the thing I need to gobble -grig my way out of future robot trouble. What do you say, kid? Hmm. You don't know what a gobble -grigger is? Ah, forget it then, kid. But, you know, do come back if by any chance you happen to find one. Yeah, let's get some money from him. What the heck is a double Greg? Questions for later. Hey, look, it's the twins. I wonder how they're doing it and how the little commotion is going. Oh, so I can't even talk to him anymore. Well, so I wonder if Double Greg is a word that I can use for that person. Hey, long face. Not the one. You wouldn't happen to have anything, would you? A word? Now that's interesting. I've never traded in words before. This could be a whole new marketplace. What's the word? Oh, I've heard that before. It's a common phrase and common things How dare don't you. have value, I'm afraid. No, I can't do anything with that. No trade, kid. How dare you, good sir. Common is always valuable with the right eye. Ooh, money. This is such a creative dice costume. No way, Ronaldo. Are you seeing this? What's a dice? Okay, I'm out. My homeboy gone crazy. Am I missing anything else? 
I should be worried of. Words for sale. Who wants to buy a word? Here's one for free. Syzygy. Yo, can I take that word? For real? Word? I got words for sale here. Choice words. Pluriophile. It means lover of rain. <laughs> That's just a free sample. Give me more word, man. At least more words for me. I'm trying to. Looking for a good home here. It means wanting to stay in bed. Mary, give me one more free word. I swear to God. Alrighty, we'll see. I got so many words, kid. Got a sale on bucolic right now. If you're interested. Alrighty, what if, what if, if can I use any of these words? Get your food here. Come on, I got a bunch of free words here. Not the you wouldn't happen to have a word. Now that. God dang it, just honey, I'm home. That's not fair. I should have got some free words from her because she kept giving them out. Bias motherfuckers. Fine, I gotta find a better word. Hey, here's a free sample. Hmm? Halcyon. It means happy life. Two Town Square. I uh, seem like. Hey, look, it's Dice. It's the merchant. How do you move? How do you eat, sleep, or use the bat? I'm curious about that salesman. Money. I got a feeling I'm about to do a puzzle soon. I like how I'm just stealing people's money. This can be people's investments. Wait a minute. I don't know you. I only sell potions to my regular customers. I don't give out my art willy-nilly. You're not from around here, are you? You must feel lost. It would be logical to give her a summary of the town that she finds herself in. I was getting to that. Jeez. <clears throat> it would be logical of me to give you a summary of the town you find yourself in. As you may have noticed, we're big into duality here. Even though it has its not unsubstantial downsides. By the card makers, I'm speaking, Jared. Are both of your names Jared? Split personality. Though ours is more unfortunate than most. Jared and I don't agree on very much these days. Ah, a keen question suggesting a logical mind. Everyone in Two Town is split, but it's not always the same way. I am fated to always be battling my other half, but even on my worst days, I know that it's fair. We battle it out, and it's a great system. As you can see, Jorid and I are in conflict a lot. We want different things in, in business, in life, in love. In that some of us don't want love because it's an illogical distraction. And some of us want to get mad kissy. Also, we are at loggerheads over the direction of our business. But not for long. I am working on a potion to decide this once and for all. Yes, a potion to decide who is in charge. Whoever drinks it will be the leader once and for all, regardless of what the dice say. Which will be me. You misspoke. As anyone could clearly see that I am intended to be the one in charge. If you simply reason it out, you'll see that... You know what? I have had it with your condescending and your precious logic. An emotional and... Frankly, embarrassing response. Dare I say, Kryn, worthy? Ugh, you two enjoy talking. I'm out of here. 
This like logic and ah, left and right brain communicator. There is one thing. That potion I mentioned. I need ingredients to finish it. And I'm afraid time is of some matter because my partner is working on a similar potion. One that will lock me out for good. It's logical, therefore, that I finish my potion first. So, if you'd be so kind as to find what I need before that happens, I would appreciate it. Mm. Even with these fingers in my ear, that sounded like a no. But perhaps it was a yes? It's logical for me to assume that it was a yes. Okay, what now the... Then. Okay. I require three balloons. Unremarkable organisms distinguished by their loud screams. Listen for their sounds and you'll find them. And don't worry about harvesting them for my experiments. My research indicates that it is actually quite ethical and logical for me to do this. Let's see. I assure you it makes no difference to them. They loathe their existence all the same. All I require is that you find three blooms for me. And I'll have all that I need. Oh, and there's a mighty reward in it for you. In conclusion, what I've said is highly intriguing, and if I were you, I'd go find those blooms promptly. Farewell, kind stranger. He's gone, yeah? I think he is. Uh, Listen, before you go, that potion that we're working on, I need ingredients first to finish it. Because as soon as he gets control again, my partner is going to invent a potion to log me out for good there's no stopping him it's logical so you know, if you say so mr jacqueline mr hyde up in here I mean wait happens, if mr jacqueline mr hyde the boss in this area i will be actually not surprised oh nobody's going to die it'll be fine but i trust That's what you all and say. no need to decide now Get the bloobs, only give them to me instead of him. Got it? Oh, and uh, there's a reward in it for you. I know, it's so intriguing. If I were you, I'd go find those ingredients to discover what it is. <laughs> this is an interesting pairing here. Uh, nevertheless, we must have ventured on.